How's it going, guys? Love Limb Diecast, bringing you a batch review. This is going to be the 2021 Matchbox Case Y. This is the last mix of the year. Uh, we will go over these in no particular order. Um, like I said, this is the final case of 2021. Um, a little bit of a disclaimer, I do not have the Super C8. I unfortunately have been unable to find that. I've been waiting to do this batch review for that purpose. Um, but unfortunately, I can't find it. So um, since this batch is available without the C8, um, I figured I would just go ahead and do it. So now we're going to kick this off. This is the Garbage King. Uh, this is number 60 of 100. So we're going to crack that guy open. It's a brand new deco on him. <clears throat> Next up, this is the 2019 Mazda 3. Uh, this one is not getting a whole lot of love on the pegs. I can tell you that right now. Um, this is going to be a peg warmer for sure, but we're going to crack that guy open. He is number uh, unnumbered because this is a carryover from last year. So that guy's unnumbered. Uh, 57 of 100. This is the Subaru Sandbar. This is a new deco. Uh, that Mazda was a brand new casting. This is a new deco. Uh, this guy is also going to be a peg warmer. And pretty, pretty much any time they release this casting, it'll be a peg warmer, which is sad. But, uh, you know, maybe they just need to do one per case. That would solve that issue. Uh, next up, number 69 of 100. This is the Gallardo Police Car in Mattel Security Livery. This is a brand new deco for this guy, which is pretty nice. Definitely need more decos for him. Um, we're going to crack him open. Next up after that, we got the 1953 Buick Skylark. That is a brand new casting for this year. He is number 15 of 100. We will crack him open. Nice convertible. Doing a lot of 50s era stuff these days. Uh, number 47 of 100. This is the Alfa Romero Giulia. This is a new deco for this model in white. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a bit of a pearlescent. We'll take a look when we, can, we crack him open. So pretty exciting. It's a very good casting like this guy. Uh, next up after that, we got 80 of 100. This is the International Armored Truck. This guy has been around forever. However, he was retooled many years ago. So the body is now plastic and the base is metal. Uh, looks really, really good with those uh, super fast utility wheels on there, which are now... Relatively common use in the main line, so it's a good thing. Uh, number 23 of 100, this is a brand new casting. This is the Matchbox Mini Cargo Truck. That guy also does come with a variation. So you guys do know that uh, Matchbox sometimes changes some stuff up. So now you got that guy with empty load, and then you got one with a full load in it. So we're going to crack that guy and his buddy up. Uh, 37 of 100, this is the Mercedes AMG GT63. Uh, this was a new casting last year. This is a new deco. Looking really good. I like the black. I think black looks really, really good. Um, and I like the uh, these 10s on there rather than the five spokes. We got the five spokes in the, in the debut. Uh, next up, number 8 of 100, this is the 32 Ford Coupe. This is a new casting for this year. Um... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. This is not a new casting. I'm sorry. Um, but it's a new deco, and they are sporting that uh, cog wheel in the back, I guess you could call them. Um, we haven't seen that particular wheel in a really long time. So very nice to get that wheel. So not too bad. Actually, you know what? I think this is a new casting. Um, I'll figure that out, though. I'll figure it out. Uh, next up, we got 90 of 100. This is the Polaris Slingshot. It's a new deco on this guy. Looking pretty good. I do like the red foil print on the wheel in the front. Not too shabby. Uh, next up after that, we have number 36 of 100. This is the 19, I'm sorry, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in blue. It's a new deco for this model. Uh, this guy was a new casting last year. So can't wait to see this guy in some new decos. Uh, can't wait to see this in that crazy turquoise or green that the Rubicons come in. That would be nice. Uh, 63 of 100. This is the Mazda CX-5 in black. This is a new deco. We haven't seen this model in a little bit. Um, 
But this is a good this is a good casting. This is a really good casting. I like this Mazda casting. Mazda three, I don't know. Just it is what it is. But this guy's good. This guy's good. Uh, next up after that, 38 of 100. This is the Nissan Hardbody, 1995. Love this casting. Uh, this casting also just came out. I'm sorry. Another version of this casting just came out in the truck series, which I've already popped up on the channel for you guys. Sporting that new off-road wheel. Looks pretty good. Uh, speaking of new off-road wheel, we also got it on this guy. This is the Garbage Scout. And no, that garbage bin does not work with real working rigs, unfortunately. It's a huge hit on Matchbox's part, but it is what it is. So we're going to crack him open as well. Looks pretty good. Uh, another new casting right here. This is the 2020 Land Rover Defender 90. Um, I did just crack open the Tarmac Works one on the channel the other day. So it's a little, a little misleading for me to look at this guy, but... They are very, very different price points, but this looks very, very good. Very happy they did the two-door. Pretty nice. And then last but not least, we'll do the Subaru SVX. We have not seen this casting um, recently. Uh, this is actually only the second version to date. You'll notice it does have Ryu Asada on there. This is going to be uh, carried over on that logo for a, a little bit from Matchbox and Hot Wheels to uh, commemorate the late Mr. Ryu. So looks pretty good. Very happy with that. So let's start cracking. All right, guys, we're going to go a little bit backwards here. So we're going to start with the Subaru SVX. Put him right there on our rotator guy. Take a look at him. Like I said, this is the second version we've seen of this casting. Um, honestly, I thought they would use this a little bit more, but... Um, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, it's a very good casting though. I really, really like the fact that Matchbox did this. Uh, definitely seems something oddball that maybe Hot Wheels car culture would do, but Matchbox did it. They did a fantastic job. Um, obviously, uh, that was at the hands of Ryu himself and it does have his name on the back. It does say Asada with the taillight prints done up. Looks really, really good. I do like the fact that they wrap around those taillights appropriately. Um, I think that's why probably the rest of the casting has no decos on it because they do wrap that around. It looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pull that guy off. Uh, just real quick. There's the deets. Said you need the base deets. Bet you guys thought I was going to forget, huh? All right. 2020 Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, this is definitely one of my most anticipated matchbox of the year. I don't particularly like this wheel. Um, I do love the fact that the rear is tampoed up. Looks good. I just, I don't like the wheel. The wheel just doesn't fit the model in my opinion. But uh, you guys let me know what you think. Think it fits or not. But the color is spot on. I mean, this is, this is like the official press color. Looks good. This metallic green. Love it. I just the wheels are just weird now in case you guys are curious yes the whole top this is all plastic anything that's black is plastic i'm pretty sure there's an interior in there but uh it's very very dark very very dark just can't really see in there uh, looking at the base deets uh, there is your man number 1237 p37 2020 land rover defender 90 Pretty nice. All right, we're going to go on to this other guy. Truckways. Get this to cooperate with us. There we go. So this is the Garbage Scout. This was a new model last year. Um, like I mentioned, this is not compatible with the World Working Rake front-end loader or front-end garbage truck. I honestly thought it would be because of how unbelievably large that trash bin is. I mean, it's just huge, but it does not, it's not even remotely close to compatible with real working rig. So it's, it's definitely a miss, but the model itself is good. I do like the deco on this guy. It's very, very different from last year's when blue. Also, he sports the new off-road wheel. I hope that they really use that wheel a lot more. As a matter of fact, I think that wheel would have looked better on this guy. Just my opinion. 
Let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, you guys know, trash bin is removable from the back. It just sits there. The casting's good. It's it's a legit vehicle in real life. It's a real uh, commercial vehicle. Uh, but this is not licensed. So, But I do like this version a lot. This guy does not have an interior. There's your deets on the bottom. Obviously, he has no interior because he has the garbage disposal or garbage bin. So, costs extra to do that. Another guy that has that new off-road wheel, this is going to be the Nissan Hardbody D21. Absolutely love this casting. And this color is awesome. This is like a metallic teal. Uh, this screams mid-90s for sure. Looks very, very good. And, of course, it's got that awesome Nissan side stripe on the side. Looking very, very good. He's got tow hitch. Got some details in the bed. Uh, there are no tampos on this other than that side stripe, but that's perfectly fine. Um, one other cool detail <clears throat> about this casting as well. The sunroof is slightly popped open. Because, yeah, that was a true sunroof, not a moonroof. So it did not open up all the way. Just popped open. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pull that guy off of there. All right, we're going to move on to the Mazda CX-5 in black a uh, very very dark tint but there is an interior in there so don't don't worry don't worry uh we have not seen this casting i don't think we saw this at all last year but we saw it the year before i believe may have been two years but um i think they're just trying to get stuff figured out with that mazda 3 <clears throat> and so this guy kind of held in hiatus until they got that figured out but it looks really really good in black i think black's the best color uh thus far for this guy Looking pretty good. I like it's just front and rear tampos. No craziness. But at some point in time, that craziness is going to come. Because we all know Matchbox. So, All right, moving on to the next guy. Oh. After I show you the dudes. Moving on to the next guy. This is the International... Armored truck, like I said, this casting's been around for a very long time. It's a very good casting. Um, you still see them rolling around, but they're they're getting a bit dated. Definitely don't see as many internationals these days. Um, all the blue that you see is a plastic body, and then that gray on the base is metal. Again, with those awesome off-road super fast wheels, which obviously are not super fast anymore, but it looks pretty good. It says national security on the side. Pretty good. These are the deets. It's got old school Matchbox logo on there. So originally a new casting in 1999, retooled in 2013. So this guy's actually been plastic for a lot longer than I thought. Uh, interesting, he's got the scale on there, 181 scale. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to move on to the Jeep Gladiator in blue. This is the second deco on this guy. Uh, he debuted in red, so looking really, really good. Does have some taillight print on the side with the side pass. However, there are no details on the back, uh, but it does look good from the side. And, of course, it's got the side pass because he does have the Jeep logo there on the side. Looking pretty good. No front tampos on this at all. So, bit of a skimp out here. Um, I don't really like the black fenders, gray base, blue body. I'm not really fond of that combination. Um, I think that they should have done, um, you know, maybe a black base. And it would have looked, looked better, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, those fenders are part of the interior. So, if you give them a crazy color, the interior is going to be a crazy color too. So, and then of course, looking good with those newer off road wheels, the dark foil print on there. There are the deets, not too shabby. And then he does have Rubicon on the hood there, you can barely see it, but it is there, it's there. Uh, another model that people are probably not going to be all that fond of this is the Polaris Slingshot. Uh, this is an actual. Actually in a, a type of matte black, which actually looks pretty good. 
I do like the red foil on the on the front tires. Looks good. It kind of has that you know Batman esque to it. I guess you could say. Um, it's a little a little weird, a little weird, but it looks good though. I think this model looks good. Um, not a whole lot to say about it. I like the Matchbox made it because it's different. It's definitely different, but I don't. I just don't see people really flocking to this all that much. But we'll see. Uh, 1932 Ford Coupe. So this is a new casting this year. Apologize for my confusion earlier. Uh, this guy looks good with the super chrome base. Like I said, he's got those you know off roadish truck cog wheels um, in the back. We have not seen that wheel design for a little bit, so very happy to get that wheel design coming back. Uh, they just need to really expand it to other models. I think that the Matchbox team is starting to realize that they need to implement some new wheels. And it's it's cheaper and easier to implement wheels you just haven't really used and start using those. So not too bad. Uh, this guy looks pretty good, though, with his flames on the front. These guys have uh, some detail for the headlights right there. That is part of the interior. And then there is your Super Chrome base. Your man number is 1234 Ford Coupe Model B 2020. So, new casting, new casting. Uh, not a new casting is this Mercedes Benz AMG GT63 in this uh, metallic black metal flake. Um, it debuted in white. It was like a, uh, it was kind of like a, a matte white ish. And uh, it had the five spokes on it with silver. I really think that these wheels really mimic the better real life wheel that comes on the GT63. And I think it looks really, really good. I think the black is really, really good. So this version is, in my opinion, much, much better than the debut. And uh, pretty happy to have this guy. I think it's a really good casting too. So I think pretty highly of this guy. Looks, looks good. He's got front and rear tampos on there. Uh, just the basics, but that's all you need. Just the basics. Looking at the base deets. There's those base deets. All right, we're going to roll on to the mini cargo truck. Um, and I can tell you this mini cargo truck uh, doesn't have a whole lot of fans either. This is uh, pretty much a peg warmer as well. This guy is ultra tiny. It's about the same size as the Subaru Samba. Um, this is a livery that's been used on a couple of different models. Um, this has been on the, uh, it's been on a real working rig, the man uh, delivery truck with the cargo crane. And then it's also been on a uh, Mercedes-Benz Unimog uh, a couple of years ago. So they've used this deco a couple of times, this Melton uh, Industries. So looks pretty good. Like I said, this guy does have an interior variation. So you have empty cargo and then you have full cargo. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're still doing this. I'm glad that this is still a, a priority for them because um, it definitely helps move these models that are less, less desirable uh, by giving them a, an additional version. So collectors got to get both of them. So pretty good. Uh, typically these interior variations you're typically equal parts usually but uh you may find something different on the pegs but we'll see so we'll just take a look at one of the bases here this guy will be kind of an odd direction because so tiny matchbox mini cargo truck 2020 1249 is your man number so not too shabby I mean, I do like it. I think that that thing probably should have had a tow hitch on it. Just, just my opinion. All right. Alfa Romeo Giulia. Uh, just as I suspected, this is a pearl white. Because, of course, it's Alfa Romeo. And we all know about the GT... Uh, uh, whatever that one was back in the day. The, the, um, the Giulia GTA, I think it was. I don't remember. You guys can chime me in on it. Where they could only make it in red or white. And so they tried a bunch of different shades of red and white. And it just, they had troubles with it. So anyways, uh, back to this model. So this guy, front and rear tampos. 
looks good. This is only the second deco we've seen of this guy. This guy, however, is also out in the Matchbox Collector line in a gray, uh, kind of a matte metallic gray. Looks pretty good. I do not have that model yet, but hopefully I'll get that soon. Uh, just black five spokes looks good. It's a really good casting. I do like this casting a lot. Um, I think they did a very, very good job on it. Too bad they don't have a little bit more stylish wheel for this guy. Uh, there are the deets on the bottom. And then just wanted to show off that little bit of a print underneath the spoiler to kind of show that off. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, Garbage King. This is a generic... Uh, we don't really have all that many generics in the basic range anymore from Matchbox. But um, this one's good because this one's very realistic. It's very realistic. Looks very, very good. Um, you'll notice that there is a change to the interior part of this in the back um, from previous versions. Um, we'll get to that in just one second. But this guy looks good. It's white and green, which is pretty typical. Everybody's kind of mimicking that waste management deco, um, although this guy is in bright green, so um, not, not too bad. I mean, I, I like this version. Take a look at the side. West Coast Recycling is responsibility. Uh, too bad the uh, bed is part of the interior, so you get that green stripe, and then, of course, you get a green interior. Now, what I was saying about the back here is there used to be a little flap on the back here that you could push down. Um, to kind of simulate the back being closed. Uh, that is gone. So no more on there. That's all right, though. It's all right. Looking at the base, there are the deets. Not too bad. It's really weird that it has uh, details for, like, fire extinguisher and stuff underneath. It's just kind of interesting. Just interesting. All right, we're going to get on to this Mazda 3, and I can tell you right now that um, this is not a popular casting at all. Now, I can tell you by looking at this, it's super watered down. If you guys looked at the card art with all the black trim and the black wheels, that looks good. That one, no. If the wheels were black, I think that this would be a much, much better sell. They had some tint to the windows as well. I think it would have looked a million times better. Um, as it sits, this kind of looks like, you know, super cheap base base model Mazda. And the card art shows that it's like, you know, high level, very nice trim Mazda. Now, the casting itself is good. This is a good casting. It's just the, the deco and whatnot is not all that good. This car in real life is actually a, a relatively stunner for being a compact car, but I'm not really sure what took so long for this to come out. But, you know, it's here now. And uh, unfortunately, in the opinion of Level M, uh, wasn't, it wasn't really worth the wait. It wasn't worth the wait, at least in this deco. We'll see what else deco they want to do. We'll see if they get it better, but... Uh, in the in our opinion here, it's 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 meh. It's meh. All right, another model that's meh is the Subaru Samba. Now the casting is good. It's just it's not desirable in any way, shape, or form. There's nothing to add flair to this thing. It's tiny. People in the U.S. don't even know what it is. So. This model doesn't do good here. Now, this model may do good in other parts of the world, but here in the U.S., uh, this thing does not sell at all. So, it's always a peg warmer. Always a peg warmer. So, I mean, it looks good in black, though. It looks good in black. He does have front and rear tampos, like usual. Looks pretty decent. Uh, the base deets, super, super tiny. Made in Thailand, of course. So this guy was made uh, seven weeks before the rest of the batch. So it's interesting. Very interesting. All right, we're going to go on to the Buick. 
This is the Buick Skylark. This is a new casting. The guy looks pretty good. I like that guy a lot. Looks looks fancy. Um, he's not exactly as fancy as the card art shows with those awesome wire wheels on there. But it looks good nonetheless. Looks good sitting there. I do like the red interior. I like that th we have a chrome base. I like the metallic on the paint. Um, it's not it's not too crazy. So, and the casting is a decent size. It's not too skinny, not too short, not too long. It's kind of like you know porridge. Again, I don't know why they always leave that part open on the interiors in there for the base, but they do. Looking at the deets here, super hard to see on chrome base. Buick Skylark, man number is 1241. There we go. So, All right, last model in the mix is the Gallardo in um, Mattel Global Security. I mean, I'm happy that we have a new deco for this because you guys know that they reused this deco uh, in a previous five pack, in a carryover five pack. So it's nice to get this in a new deco. Um, not really sure global security exists at Mattel, but we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. This guy does have tampons on both sides as well as on the hood in front. So he is able to get the headlights tampoed up. However, there are no taillight tampos because there is no rear tampo pass on there. But he looks good. Looks good. You know, leave it to Mattel to smather their logo on their own products. Um, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't look bad, though. It doesn't look bad. And then this is the base Deets. So of this whole mix, got a couple highlights here. We're going to say the SVX. Um, definitely this Mercedes GT63. Um, obviously the Julia. And the hard body. Let me get that zoomed out for a little bit for you guys. Um, and then I do like the Defender 90. But I really think the Defender 90 will look better with the wheels that are on the, the hard body. Just saying. Look at that. It looked pretty good. So we'll give him an honorable mention. I wonder if he'll just stand there. There you go. Rotating on the spare tire. So there you go, guys. That is batch review. Matchbox 2021 case Y. This is the final mix of the year. Um, however, we still don't have the Lexus SC. I'm sorry, the Lexus LS. Uh, that will be in batch A 2022. Um, other than that, I believe that the year is done. So check this out. All right, guys. So here's where we are for this year. Uh, the Ram is actually number 90. Um, but so is the, actually the Ram is a hundred, but so is the Land Rover. So I originally had him up there, but the Polaris is number 90. So he's not up there anymore. So that is this whole year all there, except for the Lexus LS, which goes right there, which is still coming. It'll be in the A case, but it's nice to finally get a completed year from Matchbox for once. Uh, who knows how long this will last, but at least we got it. So those are all in number order all the way through to 81. And then we go over here, starting with 82, going through. And then we got the five packs in here, uh, five packs down like that. And then I got five pack here and another five pack there. And then another five pack at the top because we got quite a few five packs this year, but I still don't think we got enough. So not too shabby. So there you go. That is the uh, year. And uh, we're going to roll on to uh, 22. So level in. Peace.